Life in the Spanish Property Choice Office is a constant competition, with Sharon, Steve and Sean all pitching to outdo each other. Any customer is fair game, even if it means all three of them working with the same clients. How are you doing? Carol. Steve. And you are? Chris. Chris. Right, OK. I'll, this I'll... is I.E. Dad. <laughs> yes, this is Dad. <laughs> now, you were talking by email with my mum, Sharon. Yes. As mothers do. She's just passed it all on to me. <laughs> so there you go. Carol and Chris Nichols are from Stockport, and they'd been emailing Sharon with a view to escaping the rat race. Back in the UK, you seem to be rushing from place to place, and, and we just want the peace and the quiet now, yeah. don't we? A bit of nice weather, no, away from the frost and the heavy rain and the snow. Chris has just retired, and it's an ideal opportunity, really. So if we don't do it now, we, we never will. The couple want the move to Spain to work for their families, too. Between us, we have four children. Yeah. And I really don't think it's going to be an issue, them coming out. No. I don't think we'll be able to get rid of them. Chris and Carol's budget is around €230,000. I think our dream would be a two-stroke, three-bedroom villa, modern, with a pool, a lot of outdoor space, um, maybe an annex. Yeah. And even though this is now our dream, we want the children to also benefit from Definitely. that. The first property the kids might like is in an elevated position in the village of Caretes. 25 minutes drive from the coast, but with mountain views. Outside, landscape gardens adjoin a fantastic swimming pool, plus terraces and a barbecue area. The property is decorated in a traditional Spanish style, with a lounge opening onto an external dining area. A generous sized kitchen. Four double bedrooms and two bathrooms. For those expecting lots of visitors, a separate building offers a two bedroom apartment. With its own kitchen and bathroom. It's on the market somewhat over the couple's budget at just under 250,000 euros. Come on through, and I'll open it all up. Sean takes the lead on this first viewing. Come on through. Thank you. So if you want to just follow me okay. through here to the kitchen. Size-wise, I mean, is... The, the size yeah. is great. Yeah, yes. this would work yeah. for, for what you're looking for. Yes. yes. Crop central. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Right, so this is the fourth bedroom of the main house. As you can see, the current owners are just using it as a bit of like a storeroom. My idea with this is if you don't need four main bedrooms in the master house, yeah. this to me would be the ideal dining room. Yeah. It yeah. makes sense. Ever resourceful, Sean has conjured up a dining room out of some dishcloths. Three more double bedrooms and two bathrooms. I want to show you the main part of the house, oh, wow. which is your lounge. So this is where you can go straight out onto the terrace and entertain friends and family. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, plenty Can't of that. So many people want to come and visit, won't they? So, oh, free holidays. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You'll be wishing you bought a one-bed apartment. <laughs> and just say no. <laughs> no more. Yes. Next in line for the Sean sales spiel, the exterior. Follow me down to the pool area. It comes with a twist. I don't know if you're into gin and tonics, but you've got your own lemon tray that you can just come in. Oh, <laughs> great. We've always wanted yeah. one. <laughs> you want to follow me yeah. through here? Now, I want to show you the garden area because I think it's a really nice space. Make this your own little sort of getaway garden. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this yeah. Is, uh, my priority is easy maintenance, I think. Yeah. I'm a lazy gardener. <laughs> Carol and Chris wanted a modern place, but the house's annex is 70 years old. Sean craftily shifts the tricky bit over to his dad. I'll let father lead the way okay. with this one. Okay. He knows a lot more knowledge on the older property side. <laughs> Comes with his age. While Sean does cheeky, Steve's style is to tell it like it is. So this comprises of a, a kitchen that you can see through there. Yeah. OK. Main lounge that we're studying at the moment. Right. There's a central sun terrace, and then you've got two separate 
bedrooms. Nice size. Mm. Yes. Kitchen's right next to it. Mm. Yeah. A property with a total of six bedrooms should be just right for Chris and Carol's visitors, but it needs to suit them too. It's rustic. Personally, I love the outside space. The inside leaves an awful lot to be desired. No sniff of a sale then, but there are still two properties left to view. It's the Spanish style. I yeah. think it doesn't seem to gel with them. I think Carol's thinking down the lines of there's a lot, a lot of work to do. to do. There's a lot of things she'd want to change. To change, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, that all comes at a cost. Yeah. Linda's next customer has just arrived. Yes, thank you very much. Nice to see you. Jill Sage currently lives in Southport, but is longing for a life in the sun. I'm looking to eventually move to Spain. The weather is the main thing for me, and the sunshine and the sea. I've got to get old, I'll do it in the sun. <laughs> the move has been partly motivated by a tragic event in her life. I did have a son, my beautiful Thomas, who was... I lost him in a road accident when he was 17. Losing my son made me realise you get one go at this life. I've always wanted to live abroad, and so I feel it's time for me now. I think I, um, I want to plan the future in Spain. Casas Manuel might have their work cut out, as Jill is an estate agent herself, so knows her stuff. I understand the speak. So, I, you know, when they say something is um, bijou, I know it's going to be very small and something easily manageable is going to be very small. <laughs> She's planning on moving to Spain and buying a place with her friend Dawn. Dawn is a friend of mine. Um, we both have the same idea about living in Spain. If we can afford maybe more by buying one together, that may um, help get us a bigger place nearer to the sea. So Jill is flying 3,000 kilometres from Southport to Espana to have a look at some properties. But unfortunately, she'll be making the trip alone. Dawn isn't able to come on the trip with me this time. I know what Dawn likes. She trusts my judgement. In fact, that was her last words to me. <laughs> All right, darling, well, I'll just you. get my bag and then okay. uh, off we go. Jill's got a budget of around 100,000 euros, yeah. and with three lovely properties lined up, Let's hope one of them ticks the boxes. Linda soon realises she's got to be at the top of her game when Jill reveals that she, too, is an estate agent. Well, property in my blood started when I was 17. One of my first jobs was estate agent. Yeah. £10 a week. But I love it, and I've, I've also been a field sales manager for a builder with, like, nine yeah. developments. So I've yeah. done oh, got lots of new build and also rentals. Yeah. Property number one is a three-bed, two-bathroom house with a spacious living room and well-appointed kitchen with a gorgeous little back garden. As well as all that, the property boasts a hidden gem, a basement that spans the entire length of the building, all for a very budget-friendly €99,950. But it's a little further away from the sea than Jill might have liked. That morning dip might be a little tricky. This is nice. Isn't it a lovely little sitting Very there? Very nice, yeah. After you, there you go. Shame, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, this is lovely. Nice and cool. Gosh, it's big, isn't it, inside? Mm. Nice big room. Jill slipped straight into estate agent mode. There's a store cupboard under this little yes. store cupboard there, yeah. Is your bathroom in there? It's your second bathroom. Yeah. Oh, it's got the, I like the way they have the cupboards underneath as yeah, well. Yeah, again, for storage. And here we have the kitchen. Independent kitchen. Nice and big, isn't it? And here we go, Jill, outside to the little patio area. So can you see yourself sitting out here, lounging yeah, in the sun, course. Jill? Yeah, Catching yeah. a few rays while the washer's on. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it's very washer. nice. Nice and private. But the real winner is a surprise feature under the house. So here we come downstairs into the, um... Wow! Underbuild, I mean... That's massive! Massive, isn't it, yeah? This originally was the garage, Jill, yeah. um, but they've uh, arranged it as, like, another living area. Wow, it's guess, amazing. Something. Jill won't get bored if she retired to this property. Plenty to do. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Trip, yeah, triple two, though. Gosh, you're quite good. Oh, yeah. Two, I like my twos. 
The fact that you've got the room below, that could easily be altered into another bedroom with an ensuite. Upstairs are three gorgeous bedrooms. This, this is nice. The fresh air coming in, yeah. beautiful. It's a lovely room, It's this. a good size room, isn't it? I think there'll be a few arguments with Dawn and I, my house share oh. friend, because we both want the one with the uh, French door onto the terrace. Oh, God. I'm having it. <laughs> and you've got the terrace. And you've got your terrace. So shaded, is it? Again, yeah. you've got the sun without being actually yeah. hot. Yeah. Very nice. Good. And that isn't the sea, is it? I always can yeah. imagine I can see the sea wherever Lower I look. When I'm... Nice little accent. Nice there, and Jill. wide. Yeah, it's a good size plus, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. You don't feel overlooked at all, yeah, do you? Nice room. Watch your little step there. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at the size of this one. Wow, so this is Bedroom nice number three. Yeah. This is uh, very nice. So this is the main one, even though the other's got the... This is the main. Balcony. This is the biggest one, really. The built-in wardrobes, but the other one has the balcony. Just go in and out and do what you want, what you wish, yeah. okay. And I'll meet you downstairs, sweetheart, Thank OK? You. I think Jill really likes the property. I think she was very surprised. She does like to be by the sea, but it's a lot more expensive and you wouldn't get this property down sort of Lasagna on the Arawala Costa. So I think it ticks a lot, a lot of our boxes for her, yeah. I do like it. It's very nice, nice and big. The under build is amazing. And uh, it's nice and cool inside, which is quite a shock, really. I really would have ideally liked a solarium because they're, again, private and you can have Barbies, but this place itself is a sun trap. You can see it's a sun trap and you could have barbecues out here. So this one's just under €100,000. Three bedroom, two bathroom with the underbuild um, and it's on a good size plus. So I think it's a good, it's a good start for her to start comparing. Price-wise, at this price, it's very good value for money. It's quite a bit less than some of the others I've looked at that were sounded the same size. With two more houses to show her, can Linda top property number one? 150 miles south in Almeria, competitive fur is flying. The Garners are going head to head to sell Carol and Chris Nichols a house. Sean, keen to beat his parents at their own game, showed the clients around a traditional villa with lots of outside space. On the market at €249,950. I want to show you the garden area because I think it's a really nice space. But it wasn't a perfect match for the Nichols. Well, my priority is ease of maintenance, I think. Yeah. I'm a lazy gardener. <laughs> <laughs> so the race is on, and to keep the fight fair, Sharon and Steve have introduced a leaderboard. I've done this because how many times do we have the argument on who is top salesman? So this is going to be the proof. Currently in the lead, unfortunately, <laughs> is Sean. I am indeed the top seller, and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> it's taken me six years to get there. The first salesperson to fill three columns will get a reward, and Sharon and Steve want input on what it should be. We've got a little post-it note you see there that for you to sort of come up with ideas. Have you noticed how small it is? Yeah. <laughs> how about on the third column, yeah. the last sale, yeah. they get double a commission. <gasps> let, let me just work that out. <laughs> Computer said no. no. <laughs> for Sean, this is not just about plaudits and prizes. He's keen to prove he has what it takes when the moment to take over comes. I feel a huge responsibility to make sure that SBC as a company succeeds and continues to succeed. And I think that's mainly because being sort of the next male in the family, there's a lot of pressure put on my shoulders, but I'm up for the challenge. Well, Sean, you've had your chance. Maybe Dad Steve can do better. He's found a property he thinks the Nichols will like. <laughs> Property number two boasts a spacious lounge with log burner and mixes contemporary and rustic decor throughout. There are three bedrooms and two bathrooms, plus a fully fitted kitchen and dining space. The large pool is complemented by terracing, a barbecue area and landscape gardens, plus a double garage and carport. 
It's located 45 minutes from the coast, which suits Carol and Chris fine, and at just under €230,000, it's right on their budget. This is more of your modern, clean lines, a little bit more land, immaculately kept. This time, Steve's out to prove he's the one who gets deals. Wow. Wow. He's off to a great start. This, for me, has got the wild factor. Yeah, I agree. Excellent. This is nothing I can find any fault with. This is brilliant. Spot on. The interior's got a lot to live up to. OK, so this is the heart of every home, the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. First impressions. Oh, nice. Big. big. Yeah, spacious. Quite modern as well. Very yeah. Modern. So who does the majority Me, of the cooking? I did Oh, that, that was a cook. I did yeah. come in that one. I did yeah. ah, Excuse me. It's only Things on toast thing. don't count. Uh, <laughs> lounge area. Very nice. Um, large double doors out onto the covered terrace. It's lovely, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah it's I a mean, lovely size. Even yeah. down to the decor. Oh, this is a nice size. Again, terrace doors. Oh, lovely. Covered straight patio. Pool. Yeah. yeah. First thing in the morning, straight out. Can't beat that. Although the three bedroomed house is a hit, Carol and Chris did want lots more room for visitors. This is uh, where we've got the detached garage carport to the one side, obviously. Steve's not letting a potential sale slip through his hands. A nifty bit of building work could solve the bedroom problem. You could quite easily do conversion on this. Yeah. All the services are here, right. so that would be quite an easy sort that, of that's conversion. Good. That's good. Steve's given it his all, and it seems to be working. It's a place you could just walk into. I just love it. I love the exterior, I love the swimming pool, the, the gardens, and, and the house as well. Oh, just just to die for. And it works, doesn't it? Yeah. If there's nothing you can say it doesn't work, it just works well, spot on. Right. Every box that we put in in front of them, they tick, 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 tick all the way down. I'm absolutely chuffed. Perfect. So is that a sale? Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just changing the job. <laughs> when we get back to the office and uh, we say, well, this is the villa they want to buy, of course, it's just going to be easy for Dad to say that's how to do it. But with one more house to view, a sale for Steve isn't guaranteed yet. We're on the sunny Costa del Sol with estate agents, the Garners. Son Sean's itching for the chance to take on more responsibility. So, for the first time, his parents have asked him to organise the annual promotion day. A mini fiesta which brings together all local businesses to drum up new custom. I don't think I'm prepared as much as I thought I was because I've just turned up this morning in complete panic. I've just got to make sure it all goes as smoothly as possible. Dad Steve is observing closely. It's the first time he's been given free reign to do this type of open event for us. I think he's feeling the pressure a little bit. He seems to be a little bit hot under the collar. I think the sweaty forehead shows that I am feeling the pressure extremely this morning. A rocky start could bode badly as there's a lot riding on the day. Over the course of the last few years, we've been saying to Sean, the future for you, we believe, is to take the complete control of the company. And so I think it's, it's, a, it's a big day for Sean. Of course, Sharon's just stepped into the fray to see what's going on. What are you doing? I will say something. Did, did you, you know, did you... Razor break. No, I've been that busy, busy sorting this day out for you lot. I forgot to shave. For now, Sharon's rules apply. Do you tie it properly though? Just smelt it. I think he's going to feel the stress and the pressure. By mid morning, Sean's nervous. I think the turnout so far, it's okay. I want more people here, of course. Uh, I still think it's a little bit early. Saturdays can be fairly quiet, but hopefully it'll, it'll be it'll be nice. The quiet gives Sharon time to make sure standards are being maintained. Now, you put your sleeves down. There we go. I can't believe you've had that many tattoos. Oh, That's disgusting. Just... You get that covered oh. up. Tattoos in business doesn't work for me. So I know people look at us and sort of say, why are you making him wear long shirts, etc." I won't allow for um, tattoos to be seen at work. But balloons, it seems, could be appropriate business attire. Oh, oh, oh hell yes. <laughs> 
Oh, is really? anyone ever <laughs> take me serious? <laughs> Is that the new uniform, Sean? Yeah. I'm 25. How do you still manage to embarrass me? <laughs> With Sean sorted, Sharon's attention turns to salsa practice. <laughs> what did you think of my dancing? I've never danced in my life, so I was actually quite impressed with myself. <laughs> Sharon's dancing may be impressive, but whether Sean can impress her and his dad is another matter. Back in Alicante, Linda has shown fellow estate agent Jill a two-storey house. But a sea view was high on Jill's wish list. So that isn't the sea, is it? I always can imagine I can see the sea. So Linda's changing tack. And on the way, there's time to discuss future job options for Jill. And I'd love to work in property. Yeah, would you come work? Can I? Oh, yeah. Good. Sorted. I'll be out next week. <laughs> the boss will be sacking me now. <laughs> us two, us two on the road. So this is Camp Home All, my darling, which Campo. means the land of love. Oh, but how lovely. Camp Home <laughs> The second property is two for the price of one. A self-contained studio on the ground floor. And upstairs, Another larger apartment with two bedrooms and a modern bathroom. It may be Bijou, but this apartment's big pull is the sea view. A must for beach-loving Jill, but that view comes at a price. It's on for 139,000 euros. That's nearly 40,000 euros more than property number one. Look at this view, my Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That is so lovely. Yeah. You don't need a pool when you've got that well, nearby. So is there a beach just, just behind there? Just behind those houses there, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Do you find it relaxing just to look at oh, this? I, I do. I love it. I can feel really relaxed. I need to live by the sea. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah. So here we go, sweetheart. Well, this is nice. That kitchen's nice. It's perfectly adequate. To your left, you've got your bathroom. Shower, it's a nice big shower and the washing machine. And then we have in here uh, one oh, of the double nice. bedrooms. Yeah, and the built-in wardrobe. And the built-in wardrobe, yeah. Good. What do you think so far? So far, it seems a bit holiday-ish. Yeah. I could imagine coming here and be, being very happy for holiday, mm -hmm. especially with that sea view. Onto the separate studio apartment below. So here we go, Jill, downstairs. The... Oh, it's similar to the other, isn't it? Yeah. If you slept upstairs, and you could have this as another sitting room. Similar to oh, upstairs, or smaller. Ah, yeah, this is the one that mentions that you could put a wall yeah, and have a bedroom there. Yeah. So there you go. Very nice apartments. Um, I think more for a holiday. I prefer the other house, I think, that I saw before, but I love this area. It's really something I could consider with having the two apartments as well, if you used one more for living and the other for sleeping. I like it, but I prefer the other one. To be honest, I think it's too small for them. If you're going to live here with two, you know, two friends who've been used to having their own homes, I think it could be a little bit on top of one another. Jill's now realising she may have to compromise between having space or being by the sea. It's a case of property or area. Uh, the other property was in a nice area, but this is nicer. We have another one to see. Let's hope that one's got both. <laughs> I think she's going to like this next one. Feel it in my, my, my bones. <laughs> in Almeria, house hunters Carol and Chris have experienced the sales rivalry between Sean Garner... This, to me, would be the ideal dining room. Yeah. ..and his dad, Steve. Large double doors out onto the covered terrace. Their final viewing is with the third Garner, Mum Sharon. Unfortunately, you've got me. <laughs> We've got Mark. <laughs> She's showing them round property three, a villa 45 minutes from the coast, featuring a good-sized swimming pool surrounded by stylishly planted terraces. Inside, it's decorated in a Moorish style, and the spacious lounge has a feature fireplace and patio doors. The kitchen diner leads out to an enclosed sun terrace. And the three bedrooms are complemented by an ensuite 
and family bathroom. There's no annex for family and friends to stay in, but at just under 175,000 euros, it's 55,000 euros under Chris and Carol's budget. Oh, this is a nice size. Yeah. 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 I do love the colour. Yeah. Yes. yes, it works okay. really well. Yes. Yeah. When you come into a coloured room like this, it makes it a little bit more cosy. Cosy is the word, yeah. Sharon's a devotee of decor when it comes to selling. You've got this beautiful headboard on this, on this bed and it's covered by, you know, a big cushion. So it's just first impressions. In her view, any floor can be fixed with cushions. That cushion could sell this house. Sorry about that. I've got this fetish about cushions and, and, and beds. We, uh, I don't think the word <laughs> fetish is the right word. Oh, yeah, fetish is something else. <laughs> oh, my life. There is no hope for you. Two, master bedroom. Oh, again, nice size. This cushion. And cushion is great. Do you think this could sell you the house? <laughs> I mean, this, it, it, honestly... Did you just, speak? Just being placed there like that could make all the difference. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, so. yeah. I would. Yeah. With the cushion chat over, Sharon fishes to see if this property stands any chance against property two, which obviously made quite an impression. Oh, my gosh. I think I left my heart there, to be yeah. honest with you. <laughs> well, if you left your heart there, I've got no <laughs> chance, have I? Good grief. The outdoor space I don't like as much as the previous no. property. I think the pool is a bit too small for us. Yes. Family and guests coming across. It looks nice outside, but it's not got that... Wow. Professional point scoring aside, Sharon's pleased how things are going. Obviously, she's referred to the other property a few times now, mm. so I think, mm. I think, yeah. It is looking promising. It's looking really, one. really good. Yeah. Good job. Good job. All that's left now is for the Nichols to make a decision as to whether any of the properties were good enough to sign on the dotted line. In Alicante, Casas Manuel's Linda and Manuel have their own fantastic family home. Did you know that? Oh. Did you do things? Thank you. Oh, wow. I love to sell houses where I like to live, and I love living in Spain. And the good thing is, you're only two hours away, so our family come to see you. So it's nice that you have the best of both of them. They moved into this fabulous finca 13 years ago and love nothing more than showing off the space to guests. We never run out the lemons. One's an orange tree next to it. Also in residence are their beloved designer dogs. There's Chanel. She's got arthritis. She loves me. Ah, uh, she loves them. She's Wherever I go, oh, she follows me. And she is very lazy. She likes to sit there and she doesn't <laughs> like the others all run around. And Gucci, the two. Well, Gucci, he's very aggressive to anyone who cuts his hair. And there's a permanent guest of honour in the garden. And this little kitchen area is called Maggie's Kitchen. Uh, one of my sisters was called Maggie. And uh, she used to come and stay with me quite a lot. And unfortunately, we lost her. She died three years ago this year. And um, she's in the pot in a champagne bottle because she loves champagne, so we thought, well, it's only fitting that we all have a glass of champagne. It was Linda's sister, Maggie, that was instrumental in getting her together with Manuel over 40 years ago. This is the one where we got married. My sister, Maggie, was a stewardess for British Airways. And she had right girls were all going on holiday together. Going to Spain, she said. Two pounds it cost us to come to Spain. And that's when I met Manuel. I must say, when I first met, I fell madly in love with him. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? And uh, I think we got married the year after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy at first when we first got married as well, because it was different cultures. All been down, but we OK. Perhaps the key to their long-lasting marriage is Linda's tolerant attitude when it comes to Manuel's slightly eccentric style, including keeping life-size cardboard cutouts of himself around the house. I like antiques. And I got my guns, because they're real. They're very old. That was my mum when he was young. And he had such big ears. His cousins used to call him Bucci Lala. That means big ears. <laughs> well, this is my mannequin, because I used to have a Harley. So I got all the gear, all the hats, I got everything. Yeah. Still got those big ears, hasn't he? <laughs> Bucci Lala. 
In sunny southern Spain, the town of Almeria is alive with the sound of a fiesta. Everyone sipping sangria for a fun day, organised by Sean in an effort to promote the business. This is not a happy place. <laughs> it's a new level of responsibility for Sean. So Dad Steve's keeping a close eye on him and his dress code. The one thing I have noticed is he's uh, rolled his sleeves up, which, of course, I've always uh, said to him he couldn't. But come Monday morning, those sleeves will be back down in the normal position. Um, but today, it's so warm, we'll let him off with that one. The tattoos are definitely staying out all day. I've already had two people say to me already, it's nice to see your tattoos out and your sleeves rolled up and you're a bit more chilled out. Top button undone, it's like, oh, yes. <laughs> And not a moment too soon, the event is really taking off. Well, I think after a, a shaky start for Sean, I think he's pulled it back. There's a steady stream of people flowing through, which is good for him. I think the salsa dancer has gone down fantastic. Proud of him. As the busy day draws to a close, not only is Sean impressed with his fiesta, He's also managed to score a sale. I think I might have sold a villa this morning. <laughs> <laughs> On the way. <laughs> As I'm trying to set this off, <laughs> someone's calling like, we think we really like it, we might make an offer. Brilliant. So. OK. Yes. Good. I think the day turned out really, really well. It was exactly what I wanted, which was fun in the sun. And I think the most important thing for me is that my parents can see, obviously, what I've put into it. Now I've got my beer, I can officially take my tie off and I can say my job is done. Sean might be pleased, but in the end, Steve and Sharon are the judges of his suitability to run the business. I think it's, it's come off OK. I mean, of course, you know, as my school report always said, can do better, but, you know... Oh, you're I such am. a tyrant. I you're am. just never happy, are you? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think he's done a brilliant job. Yeah. Yeah. We'll hand the baton over to him and say, you can run with it, son. Do you think we'll be able to semi-retire? No. No. no, I don't think so. No. no. So it's a success for sure, but with the promise of two backseat drivers. 150 miles north in Alicante, estate agent Jill Sage is searching for an apartment. Linda's shown her two properties so far. One with plenty of space but no sea views, priced at 99,950 euros. Downstairs into the um, wow underbuild. I mean, that's massive, massive, isn't it? She also showed her one in a great coastal location, but with a lot less space for 139,000. So is there a beach just just behind, that? just behind those houses? Oh, fantastic! Perhaps the final property could offer the perfect compromise between the two. Property number three is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom townhouse. Downstairs are two double bedrooms. And upstairs is a fantastic master suite with ensuite bathroom and its own rooftop terrace. It's on the market for €129,995. Euros. There we go. You've got your nice little patio area here, your table and chairs. So here we are, sweetheart. Let me open the windows for you. Oh, posh blinds. Definitely. Lovely, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Nice room. Has the uh, American kitchen. Yes. It's nice and big, isn't it? Plenty of kitchen storage. I can make myself a nice spaghetti bolognese from here with a nice Mediterranean salad. Oh, I thought you were going to say a Mediterranean man. <laughs> One of them as well. One of them as well. <laughs> Preferably with a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> so here's bedroom number one. Oh, and look what's here for you, my spike. Oh, bike. <laughs> now you can get your uh, beach towel in the back and everything. Good you go down Does to it the come beach? with a bike? I'm sure it will, yeah. And that's to the side of the house. That's, that's right, yeah. Lovely window leading onto the uh, little patio outside. Very nice. So this is the master bedroom. Yeah. This is my bedroom, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. Look there you at go, that. my darling. Oh, roof terrace. Wow, this is massive, wow, isn't it? That, hey? Fabulous. Oh, look at that. The sea. Oh, the sea. What a fantastic view. Gorgeous. Look at that sea. Fab up here. 
gorgeous. What about you and Dawn, then? You would oh, be fighting for the spots with the Well, Dawn, the Dawn is a serious sun worshipper, oh, so she? she'd just be there all the time. Oh. Um, but I would let her on my terrace. <laughs> Off my bedroom. Off the bedroom. <laughs> Fabulous, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Which one's your favourite, then, Jim? This one's my favourite because it's more like a home. It's exciting, the thought of living, waking up to this every day. Sunshine and sea. I love it. It is lovely, isn't it? It's got everything that you, you need, your three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Yeah. Just have to speak to Dawn and see what she thinks as well. Yeah. That's the only problem now, the fight over the master bedroom. Fight over the bed, so... Jill really liked the property. I think this is the best one for her, and the price is really good. I don't think she'll get better than this for the budget that she's got in this part of Spain. It looks like estate agents Jill and Linda could end up becoming firm friends. Linda has been amazing. You know, she's really been very useful. It's been great having her to chat to. Well, she's lovely, isn't she? She's really nice, huh? Got great personality, good buddy. So it's another gin and tonic with her on her terrace. <laughs> A week later, back in the UK, and Jill's had a chance to mull over the properties. Castle Manuel were brilliant, and they showed me three properties which were lovely, but they weren't quite right for what I was looking for. But it's been such a help because I now know roughly where I'd like to be, the type of property I'd like, and hopefully when Don and I go back out there in the near future, we can go to Castle Manuel and they'll help us find the right property. People say, oh, they've gone back and they haven't bought, but they will come back. We've had clients from two, three years ago who are still coming back. So she can come back as many times as she likes, and I will always take her out, and I will still be looking for the dream home for her. In Almeria, having been shown three properties by three members of the Ghana clan, Chris and Carol Nichols have come to the office. We've discussed it, and we'd like to put in an offer. They've made a decision, but which is it going to be? Property number one's outside areas they loved. That was on at €249,950. Property two on at €20,000 less at €229,950 was a hit, but would need a garage conversion to create more bedrooms. Property 3 was decorated in a Moorish style, on at a very budget-friendly €174,950. Our favourite um, was uh, the second one we saw, the modern. The um, modern style right. villa, yeah? Yes. yes. They've gone for property number 2, the more contemporary villa with the convertible garage, shown to them by Steve. And it's he who's got to try to do the deal. We were thinking of... 215. 15. That's almost 15,000 euros under the asking price. It might not be enough to secure their dream home. OK, so unfortunately the offer's declined. OK, he said if you can get close to the asking price, he will leave whatever you would like, apart from personal items. It's a setback, but the offer would save Carol and Chris the expense and effort of shipping their furniture from the UK. Okay, Point. let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Full Let asking me. price. Yeah. That's just under €230,000. <laughs> Exciting. I'm still gutted that you never went for the other property and I've got that cushion. <laughs> Steve soon has news. Congratulations, you've bought yourself a house in Spain. <laughs> yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> Carol and Chris are delighted about their purchase. It's like, wow. And I didn't expect to find a property so quickly. No, no. And it's the perfect property for us. A dream come true? Yes, definitely. definitely. Steve may have got the sale, but the others aren't happy with him getting the full credit. Sorry, whose client was he? Uh, who did the viewing? Uh, no, no, whose client was it? So, so, Sean I think did the I first had the biggest one. Intent, okay. Okay. Did you? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. You no, did the third no. property. No, I... It was Dad that did the second house. Yeah, yeah. Can I...